Hello everyone, so this video is going to be about my journey to law school. As I told you all before, I will be attending Emory Law in fall of 2016, so right now it's June 2016, so in about three months I'll be moving to Atlanta to start at Emory. So yeah, um, in May, like a month ago, I graduated from Howard University with a degree in legal communications. I graduated summa cum laude. I had a 3.91 GPA. <laughs> Beauty and brains. Not a girl. But um, my LSAT, it was all right. I got a 151. I mean, I wanted much higher but I told myself as long as I got over a 150 I wasn't about to stress myself out and retake it because you know God got me and clearly he had me because I got into Emory so um it all started I guess when I joined the law fraternity at Howard University and these people were like my saving grace they like showed me the road to law school they just you know helped me get the courage to apply to law school. During my senior year, I spent a lot of time in the med school, in the library, in the iLab, just studying for the LSAT, doing logic games. Logic games, I just wanna shoot myself think about it. Yeah, but, um, so I just studied. Um, I took the LSAT in October, I think it was October. No, it wasn't October because my roommate's birthday was on the day of the LSAT. And my roommate took the LSAT too, so we decided that we would do it in December? I don't know. I took it in the fall, winter of 2015. Um, a lot of people say that's kind of late to take it, and you should take it in like, the summer before your senior year so that you can like retake it again in the fall. But whatever, as I said before, God got me. God had me. So, yeah, I took the LSAT. I didn't take a class or anything. Um, looking back, I guess it could have helped me a little bit. But, like, my study habits are pretty good. They're okay. They could be better. They will be better in law school. But, um, I don't know. I know people who took, like, Kaplan and stuff like that. And they did just as good as I did. Not too much better. So, I don't know. I don't really feel any type of way about the classes. I feel like if you want to take a class, go ahead and take it. As I say all the time, I'm on a budget, so I ain't had no $1,000 for a class, so I didn't take a class. But anyways, um, I went to the New York Law School Forum, and there I got a bunch of fee waivers, and I was like, oh, I'm up. I'm just about to apply to every school that I had a fee waiver for, because why not? It's free. But then, you know, doing further research, I found out you had to pay like the CRS report and that was like $30 per school. And y'all know I'm on a budget as I will keep reminding y'all. So I ended up only applying to, I think, six schools. I applied to Georgia State, Emory, UGA, Howard, Columbia, and North Carolina Central. I wanted to get a good range of schools because I knew my GPA was good, but, um, you know, as I told y'all before, my LSAT wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. Um, I had some pretty good recommendation letters. One was from a professor who was an attorney as well. And then another one was from an internship supervisor. One of my professors, which we will not speak of, I asked her to write me a letter of recommendation. Well, actually, she asked me if I wanted her to write one. And I was like, oh, yeah, of course, sure. And then I went to see her in our office like three times. And then she was like, yeah, I'm going to write it over Christmas break. Did I ever get the letter? No, but I still got into Emory. So I also got accepted to Howard. Um, I ended up deciding not to go to Howard because I just felt like it was going to be too comfortable for me. Like I was still going to know people at Howard undergrad. I know so many people at Howard Law. Like I understand that it's a good school and there'd be good networking, but I just felt like it was time for me to spread my wings and fly. Cacao, cacao. Yes, yeah, so um, Columbia, they waitlisted me. Well, they put my application on hold and they said that they would get back to me at the end of April. They said like April 25th. On April 25th, they sent me another letter like, oh, we put you on hold again. You'll know by the end of May. 
it's the end of May and I still don't know. And I like to plan in advance. Like this is gonna require me to move to a whole new city. Like I'm currently in Wisconsin. I was in Washington, DC. Columbia is in New York. Like I have to find a place to live and all this stuff. And I can't just be waiting months and months for a school just to tell me, you know, yes or no. Although Columbia is a very good school, it's like number four, it's an Ivy League, like I am just amazed to be, to have made it this far in the process and I'm forever grateful, but it's just like, I need to know what's next. I can't live in that world, the unknown world. So yeah, I just paid my second deposit for Emory. They got a thousand of my dollars, y'all. I ain't no turning back, one thousand dollars. Um. Yeah, so I'm going to continue to vlog as I, you know, make that move to Atlanta and start my first year of law school. Right now, I'm feeling, like, really excited. Um, I have a lot of family in Atlanta, some cousins. One of my best friends from high school is moving to Atlanta. Um, my roommate from Howard, we're going to room together again, and she's going to law school in Atlanta. So I know some people who go to Emory Law. I made a very good friend already. So I'm really, really excited for the journey. I think Emory's going to be great for me. It's outside of my comfort zone, but there's still like that sense of comfortableness because it's in Atlanta and I know people and all that good stuff. So yeah, I'm going to try to blog throughout my 1L year if I have time because y'all know they say the 1L year is so rough and so strenuous and so hard and so time consuming so hopefully I have time to vlog and you know tell you all about the experience because as I was like I was like bored one day so I was looking on YouTube for like vlogs about law school experiences and I only seen one and you know she didn't look like me brown skin <laughs> So yeah, I think this is really important and I'm going to really try to do it. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions about the law school admissions process, about Emory, I don't really know that much yet, but yeah, if you want to know anything, just hit me up.